Hey guys, Luke for Smith here. This is going to be a, another review on the Submersible LED Light by Idea Life. This light is uh, exactly what it says on the tin. It is submersible in water. You can use it in uh, basically in bowls full of water and uh, f little fountains that you have in your uh, garden displays and in the back garden you can also put it in the um, sink to illuminate the room fill it up with water and obviously the water reflects so it will colorize the entire room illuminate it to a color of your choice because this actually comes with a remote so it's the variety of colors this is actually a um, really good box Really, really like the box. It's also got the um, the, the um, colours of it as well. Um, there's not much on the um, box on the writing side, so let's actually get it open. So here we have the instructions. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. It's got a remote control similar to the remote controls that you find with these. LED strip lights. It takes three AA batteries as well. Let's take everything out of the box. It also has some suction cups so you can stick it to the side of a bowl or to the bottom to um, to stick it on properly so it doesn't move. Here is the remote control for it. Let's have a little look at the remote control first and see. Let's get it open. Luckily for us, um, oh, it smells really, really like vinyl. That's good. Uh, the remote control is not submersible, so please do not put it in the water. Um, yeah, luck, luckily for us, it already has a battery in it. So it's got a pull tab. Most remote controls like this comes with batteries already in it, so that's pretty good. Here is the LED light, the submersible light. <clears throat> it's got a bit of weight to it, which is good. Um, it's got a magnet on the back. Um, like, say, if you're putting it into a a fish tank or something with metal in it or say your um, your water feature has a magnet in it or a lump of metal that is magnetized this can stick on it it's a strong magnet so you can basically stick it on it and it will hold on um, this actually has some plastic on it so let's take that off um, here it is it's got one let's see two four six eight ten LEDs on it so it's got a nice amount also here it actually comes with four of these little suction cups so you can stick it to a flat surface if you're fitting it to the, to the side of something it can basically stick here is the um, little things here so you do you basically put it in slide it down and it should just go into little notches like that and you can basically do the same to the other side put it in slide it across make sure it's in there perfectly and i think that's in perfectly in this pip on there and yeah it can basically be stuck there you won't stick the skin i'm just describing it Okay, so let's actually get this open and put some batteries in it. Another thing I want to mention, this is the um, weight in it. This is the one that basically holds it down and it doesn't move because obviously you don't want to put your light in a bowl of water or a punch bowl or a water feature and have it basically floating away. So this holds it down would and with the added extra of these suction cups to hold it down on a glass surface but obviously if you're putting it into a water feature 
the suction cups wouldn't work. So that's why you've got your magnet there if it's got a metal base and a weight here to hold it down. So let's get these batteries in it. Here is the um, battery compartment and here is some batteries. So hopefully they'll work. They seem to do all right. So let's get these batteries in. Okay, as you can see here, the batteries are already in. Um, it's nice and weighted now, especially with the batteries in it. It's a really nice block block of um, light right here. I um, believe the thing's falling out, but that's fine. Let us get the remote control. Pull out the tab. And try and see how it works. going to give it a quick tour for the remote control. you got your coloured buttons here. Red, green, blue. you got a combination. Uh, red and blue. Red and green and green and blue you also got white and you got a combination of effects you got flash effect crossfade spark auto which is basically a mix of um, effects and mixed which is a mix mix of effects and colors so let's actually try it okay um I had to change the position, I'm now using a free hand to control the camera because it was glaring in the lens and so I had to clean up my lens and um, saw out a better position. Unfortunately um, this camcorder doesn't do it justice. It is a really nice red colour at the minute. This is green. I think it's got to be up a bit more. This is blue. This is a really nice one. I really love lovely and blue colour. <clears throat> this is red and blue. So this is a combination of um, two colours here. Um, it will fade into it, I believe, but it's more of like a pink uh, colour. The next one is red and green. Yeah, this is more of a yellowy colour, so this will work. This is working a little bit better. And this is green and blue. This is more of a um, a light crayon colour, which is another light colour. So that is quite good. And this is white, normal standard um, white. Let's go through the effects. Flash. It will flash uh, different colours. This is crossfade. It will fade into different colours here. This is spark. It's basically popping from each colour to the next. Auto. And fading using different colours again. Pushing like a randomizer throughout the um, colours as you can see here. And this is mixed. Basically goes through all of them. As you can see, yeah, it is showing up different different colours on the actual camera. Which is good because obviously if you want to show off a light, you really want to show off the different colours of it as well. So I'm going to put you back on the... Um, mount and we will see and finish this review okay i had to do a close-up look i've finally managed to do it i just zoomed in a little bit more for a bit of a close-up it shows the better color of the leds here so this is red that is green this is blue like i said before this is a really nice color and really like lightly blue color because it's one of my favorites this is pink. No, that is red and blue. Forgot because you got three solid colours and three mixed. Well, actually, you got white as well, so it's four so solid colours. This is red and green, and the next one is green and blue, which is another one of my favourites because it's a nice combination. And you got typical white here. So I'm going to leave it on blue because it's one of my favourites. And yeah, overall thoughts on this light, I really like it. It's not a bad light. Unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't able to um, put it in a bowl of water because I couldn't find a bowl of water in the um, house. Well, I couldn't find a bowl in the house. However, um, 
at the beginning of the video and possibly now I'm going to flash up um, a image of it being displayed in different um, uh, water such as fountains and pools and ponds that, that sort of thing as well and that's another thing you can also put this in your swimming pool as well because I don't really see why not however you probably be, be a bit careful because if you put chlorine in your swimming pool it might affect it and corrode the um, the rubber so I'm not quite sure if you can put it in a, in a swimming pool um, yeah I'm going to put a, a um, picture up in the beginning and the end of this video um, yeah really really nice submersible LED light I'm going to put the link to the Amazon um, page where you can buy this off of in the description below and I'm really pleased how this light here is I thought it was going to be a bit dimmer because but it's actually um it's actually strong it's it's a really strong light and it's LED so it will last a really long time on on AA batteries it takes three AA batteries um and they should last a long time because I put brand spanking new batteries in this obviously you do not want to mix mix batteries with your products it's not a very good idea um like I said before link in the description to this product so you can buy it I think it was priced um, I think it was about £12 something um, for, for UK buyers and I'm not quite sure how much it is in America but yeah overall impressed this is the end of the review so hopefully you've enjoyed it uh, don't forget to like and subscribe really appreciate it if you want to if you want me to review your product or anything just pop me in the a email at loopforsmith at gmail.com i'll see if i can sort something out and i will see you next time see you guys